Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making for you today is potato soup topped with sausages. So what we're going to do first is uh, show you a few of the ingredients and then we're going to get the vegetables started to boil. Okay, you say potato soup, it should only be potatoes. But what we're going to do, is, because we want to flavor the potatoes, uh, we're going to start the pot boiling with a full carrot, and I got, got it cut in half. I got three sticks of celery. I got a full onion, and I got six potatoes. And we're gonna put it over into our pot, top it with water, and let it boil for about 10, 15 minutes. And then after, I'll show you what we'll do next. So we're gonna put all of these vegetables now into our pot. And I'm gonna to top it with water, just so it's covered. We're going to put about a half a teaspoonful of salt in there because this is the perfect time to get your to salt your pot and to get it all going into your vegetables and which I'll pull for myself. So I'm just going to put that in there. I'm going to put this on the stove there now. I'm going to cook it on a medium heat. We got four sausages and they're breakfast sausages and you can get whatever kind you like. We got a full medium onion cut into cubes, two tablespoonfuls of butter, two cubes of garlic, a half a cup of cream, you could use milk. We're going to be using some olive oil, salt and pepper. So while we're waiting for our vegetables to boil, what we'll do now, we'll start frying our sausages and our onions. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're going to add a tablespoonful of butter and about maybe half a tablespoonful of olive oil and we're going to put in our cut up sausages i got them in cubes and you'll know why i cut them first after because this dish is so going to be so nice that you're going to i would say add it to your recipe every week for sure so i'm going to let this start frying there on a medium heat okay it's frying nice there now i'm going to put it put in a few cracks of black pepper and I'm going to just stir it around and let that fry for just about another maybe five minutes and then I'm going to take it out and add in my onion. Looks good. Okay so it looks like our sausages are nice and golden brown. What I'm going to do now is take it out of this fryer and put it over there to strain off the grease. We're going to drain off some of the oil out of the pan and then we're going to add in our onions. So now I'm going to add in the medium onion and we're going to chop into pieces. What we're going to do there now is let that fry for a couple of minutes until it starts to break down a little bit and then we'll add a little small bit of salt and pepper to taste and, and then just until it gets a little golden brown. Okay, so start this going on its frying and then I'm going to put just a little small dash of olive oil and remember that you discard the oil from the sausage into a little container to the side and add fresh olive oil to fry. Okay, so this is coming along nice there now. I'm going to add a pinch of black pepper on my onions and at this point now I'm going to use a small amount of sea salt. Um, what happens when you put salt into your onions? It draws out the moisture and I didn't want to do that at the beginning because I wanted to start the golden brown process. So now we're going to let that fry for just another little bit and then we're going to add in a, 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 a squeeze of garlic and I'll show you what that is now in a minute. And it looks like our vegetables are coming along nice there now, maybe another five minutes before they're done. So I got one piece of garlic. I'm going to put it into my garlic press. And this is what I mean about a little squeeze of garlic. I'm going to push this down and put it all into my pot. And make that fry around. Now I don't want this to burn. You do not want garlic to burn. This is just for flavor. So we're at the end of our frying stage. I'm going to turn the pot off now. 
Okay, I got my pot turned off for my frying of onions. I'm going to put the sausages back in with the onions. The pot is turned off, like I was saying. This is just to keep it warm while I'm waiting for the vegetables to cook. And then after, I'll take, I'll take the vegetables off and I'll show you what we're going to do then. Okay, so now we got our sausage and our onions fried. Uh, our potatoes and vegetables are done. So I'm gonna reach for my pot and I'm gonna start taking out the vegetables and I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, I'm gonna take the lid off. It smells amazing in here, by the way. All of the, the fresh smell of the sausage and, and the onions frying. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start scooping the vegetables that I'm not going to be using, like the potatoes is going to stay in this pot. I'm going to drain off the broth. I want to keep this because we're going to be using the vegetable broth, maybe a cup, a cup and a half to add in with our potatoes. So I'm going to drain that off and then I'm going to scoop out the, the celery and the carrot and onion and just leave the potatoes in this pot. Okay, now that I only got my potatoes there, they're starting to dry out a little bit um, now that I got the broth the broth taking off. So I'm going to start mashing with a tablespoonful of butter and we're going to do a tablespoonful of olive oil. So you're just going to mash all of that together like this. Okay, so you can continue mashing until it's all incorporated. And what I'm going to do now is take my garlic and we're going to put it through the press again. And we're going to press it in so that it's all grated. Now you'll mash that garlic in through there. Now what we're going to do is add in a cup of cream and you could also use milk. You don't necessarily have to use cream because both is equally good. You're going to mash that all together. So what we're trying to do now is start a cream base and then after we're going to use our broth to make the soup portion of it. Okay, so I don't need the masher anymore for the potatoes, but I'm going to use it for the carrot and, and the celery. So right now, we're going to use our spoon for this portion of it, because what we're going to do now, we're going to cream in the vegetable broth, which is over here in this pot. So I'm going to pour up about a cup first, because I want to see how much I would need. A cup might be enough. And basically, the reason for that is I want it for it to be creamy. I don't want it for it to be runny because remember, we're going to have a topping of uh, sausage on it and I don't want it to fall into the soup. So we're going to put in now a cup of vegetable broth. Okay, so I'm going to put in a full cup and now I'm going to mix it around. And as you can see, it's nice and creamy because you creamed it first by mashing it with the butter, olive oil, and your, your cream or milk. And now we're just adding in the vegetable broth, which you'll see got little speckles of the vegetables in with it, but that's okay. So this is a nice texture there now because it's creamy. I'm going to put this to the side and we're going to mash the other vegetables. So at this part, we're not throwing out a thing. We're keeping all the vegetables, just about a quarter of a teaspoonful of olive oil. And what we're gonna do here now is mash these vegetables because this is gonna be also our topping for our soup. And it was um, the, the base for our potato salad, of course, because it gave flavor for the potatoes to make our potato soup. All right, so let's continue mashing this until it's all mashed together. So continue mashing. And uh, if your celery is not all the way cooked and is a little bit hard, just take out any of the strings. And when I'm saying strings, it's just the portions that's left, but squeeze out all of the juice from it. And then you can take that after. Um, we also, this was a request from one of our viewers uh, asking for potato soup. Um, and, uh, you know, in, it takes us time to get all of the, the requests in, but uh, I'm excited to bring this one to you today so we all can get to enjoy it as well. So I'm just gonna scrape our 
other vegetables into this little bowl because we're going to be using it as a topic. So now we're going to plate up our soup and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so let's start plating up our soup. And we're going to, this is a serving for four people. I'm sure you can make it into as much as you like, but to me, um, you, you probably do better if you only got it for four. So we're going to put our soup. Okay, so let's just top it with some of our sausage and our, and our onion. I'm going to top it with a small bit of our carrots and our celery. And then we're going to a little bit more pepper, salt, tiny bit of pepper, and some parsley, and a little bit of our celery leaves. So this is our potato soup, and it looks awfully delicious. I can't wait to get into it. There's many different recipes of potato soup, and uh, this is one that I was excited to uh, to try, to share, and, and to share with all of you guys. You can have it more runny, you can add more broth if you want it, you know, full soup. But I wanted it with this texture because I wanted to have it with the sausages and vegetables so that you can scoop it up and you would enjoy it just the same. So I hope you found this episode of Bonita's Kitchen uh, potato soup with sausages helpful for you today. Please try it. Let me know what you think. Uh, and thanks to our viewer that uh, asked for us to do potato soup. Uh, please don't forget to, to visit uh, www.bonitaskitchen.com and that's our brand new website. And again, our videos will be posted up on YouTube and you can subscribe and each time we post a new video we will send it to you to notify you. Don't be afraid to play with flavors. Uh, definitely you can add as much seasonings to your taste and again vegetables when you're boiling it with your potatoes. I'd like to thank everybody once again for joining us for Bonita's Kitchen. Join us for more episodes and thank you and have a wonderful day.